Hey there, this is Catherine. I am sharing a stamp set and die set from Diamond Press. This is called the um, Keep Swimming Tunnel Card Set. I picked this up from HSN a little while ago and I'm just getting it out. It comes with um, a full color instruction sheet. I love that, uh, that Diamond Press does that. So it has inspiration for you. And then here's a look at a couple of the stamp sets. You get two and they're all kind of fish and lots of great sentiments and things to make an ocean themed card. You also get these foam dots and a folder that you can use in your diamond press die cutting machine if you have that. And then here's a look at some of the dies that come in the set. The, um, the ones that cut in the image to you're going to layer those together to create your card. And then the outline dies for the um, different fishes and the seahorses and things like that. And then there's a banner die too. Um, so I'm going to make a couple of things with it. But I just wanted to show you what comes in the kit. And hopefully it's still in stock at HSM when I'm filming this. It is, um, but I have a link to it. So um, anyway, I'm going to start this card by following the instructions. And uh, I'm going to lay my first piece in there it's on the you can see in the left hand corner of the of the page um, I am paying attention to where they kind of place it it looks like I leave a little space up at the top uh, if you have the instructions you can see what I'm talking about but um, they just have they think of everything for you so I'm just going to run this through my machine it cuts like butter um, I love this little machine I'm working on a little review vi video for it to come out soon I've really enjoyed it and um, so I'm going to cut that first one and that is from an ocean colored cardstock and then I've got kind of a mint green cardstock here and again I'm looking at that picture you can see it's in gray now um, the second picture and the and the die is positioned a little higher on the paper so I'm just kind of following visually what they have instructed to do. So the second piece is going to go in. I'm taping that down so my die doesn't move and jump on top of the other one. You want to do that if you have two dies kind of next to each other. You, you don't want them to jump on each other. I've done that before. And they it'll bend it. I've never broken one, but it's been close. So you just want to take a second to tape that down if you're um, using the set. Okay, so I've got my two pieces cut out. They cut beautifully. And then I'm going to work on uh, the inside and I'm just um, lining those up. They'll line up. You're going to pop those up in a little bit. And um, I'm just checking out the positioning for them. It instructs you to put them together and then you're going to lay it on your card base. I chose to have an additional piece before my card base. So I'm going to lay this because I wanted a white card base. I'm going to lay this on a piece of light blue cardstock. And I am pulling out a couple of these um, sort of foliage uh, seaweed, I guess is what you'd call them in the ocean. Sort of seaweed looking grass kind of stamps. Very, very cute. And I'm laying them out so that you'll be able to see them through this little tunnel. And, uh, and then I'm going to take this over to my stamp positioner, which I love to use. Um, I have a couple of different ones. This one's from Stampin' Up, I believe. Stamparatus, I think is what they call it. This is one that I use a lot. And so I'm just going to um, use my blue ink for this called Pool from Stamps of Life. I love this blue. It's one of my favorites. Blueberry is another one from Stamps of Life that I love. But this uh, this is my probably my second favorite blue. I'm going to stamp that twice so I get a nice good image. And then I'm going to take this back to um, start assembling the card together. So I've got this, and you're going to see, you can see through the little window. So cute. I love how they've thought to have, you know, do two different colors. You could do it however you want. And, um, and then you can just, you have such a great scene without a lot of work, which excites me. <laughs> so I'm going to take a second to lay out where I'm going to put off camera, I have uh, stamped and die cut uh, several of these pieces. I used my tri-blend markers, which make for easy coloring from Spectrum Noir. 
and they have great vibrant colors and um, and now I'm going to stamp my sentiment before I put it together a lot of times I forget and have to do it at the end but this time I was determined <laughs> not to forget to put it on before I assemble the card so I'm going to take this back I'm going to use the same blue again and it's, I love this font it's very very cute it's your birthday seize the day little play on words very cute and um, again it stamps beautifully so I've got that all squared away and now I can um, put follow the instructions it has a step-by-step -step, which is great so uh, next I'm going to start adding some foam you're going to add foam to the second layer first is what they are instructing to do on here so I'm going to flip that over and I will um, put some foam, those little foam circles that come on uh, in this package. That's very convenient that they've got them in there. Usually I cut them down um, from a six by six foam sheet or I have some little dimensionals that I use from Stampin' Up! So I can always use more uh, dimensional things to use in my craft stash and they give you plenty. You get, I think, two sheets of those. So you can do a lot of these cards with it, with that number of uh, foam. Okay, so I'm working on getting this together. I'm gonna lay this onto my piece of cardstock that I trimmed a little bit larger than uh, the blue, the ocean blue piece. And then I'm gonna come back and do the same thing again. You could, if you wanted to, just glue it down if you didn't want that much dimension because it will be a little bit thicker with two layers of foam dots. Uh, so that's up to you, but I definitely would want to put one layer on here at least um, to give it some dimension and a little bit of depth to it. So I've got that on there and I'm going to layer that second piece on top of my first one. And it is so cute and you could do so much with this. That's what I love about it is you could make 50 cards and they could be all completely different um, just the just this part right here the uh, scene so to speak okay so I'm gonna layer in my little starfish and I've got a seahorse I will add some foam to him I'm gonna glue that little uh, bottom part just so he'll stick to the card well since he's popped up and he'll be even with the green piece and then I'm gonna come back and add the sand dollar and um, a couple more things I've got another I love that they have two seahorses and I love that they're facing opposite directions so you could have them face each other or you could have them face away so and um, just another great design element that they create with that that gives you even more um, use on your cards and your projects now I'm ready to glue this down onto a white card base I decided I liked the white with the contrast and so um, now I'm going to come back and add some glitter glue to it I'm not sure which one this is probably stardust I think or diamond those are the two that I use and then it kind of clogs up on me a little bit um, I don't usually have a lot of issues with clogging but that one particular bottle that stays on my <laughs> craft desk I think just gives me trouble um, it's probably getting pretty empty that could be part of it as well so um, anyway but I always I wanted to put some glitter glue on here because when you're in the ocean I feel like it's kind of um, you know shiny with the Sun coming down and there's all these kind of sparkles in the water so I definitely wanted to add that to this card so I'm gonna let that dry that'll take a few minutes and that's it on that one we're gonna move on to the second one that I'm gonna make I have already gone ahead and die cut some um, other just two of this two more of the ones I just did I just did them in white cardstock so the two layers and I am going to use my distress ink on this I've got a variety of blues and a couple of greens that I'm going to use I'm going to take a few extra seconds to make sure I've got everything covered since this isn't a colored piece of cardstock I want to make sure I've got all my um, blue and my green where I want it to go so I'm pretty happy with that and then I'm going to move to the front piece and I'm going to use 
uh, yellows and kind of pinks on this one because I wanted contrast against that blue and green. So I've got, I think this is Worn Lipstick from Distress Ink, and then I'm going to come back with Abandoned Coral and just add a little bit at the bottom. And then I'm coming in with, I think I used Wild Honey on this one, which is such a pretty, pretty yellow. I haven't used that color in a long time, and um, I was just loving it. And then there's a bright squeeze lemonade for a nice contrast. They just blend together, of course, so beautifully, these beautiful distress inks. So I've got both of those pieces done, and I, st I did stamp a little bit of the grass at the bottom with some green ink, some Hero Arts green ink I had, and I am going to turn this into a shaker card. So I'm going to start by cutting a piece of acetate that I already had ready, and I'm going to glue that down with my liquid glue. You could use um, like a uh, red line tape or a glue dot, something like that. I just used the liquid glue. I've got these dairy strips that I love for shaker cards, and I will find a link to that. I get them at various places. They were hard at one time to find. Um, they were out of stock for a long time, but I have picked them up a couple of different places. And I am going to come back with my powder tool from EK Success and run around those edges so hopefully it won't stick, all my little bits won't stick all over the place. So I'm going to use some, I think those were doodle bugs, sequins, then I've got some from Honeybee um, stamps, I believe those are. These are flat sequins, which are very cute. And they had the, some of the similar colors, the yellows and the purples um, in it. And then just some Brutus Monroe. I have some flat sequins as well that are kind of iridescent. So this is where things got a little off. I realized I should have done the very top layer with the shaker instead of this one because I can't see. <laughs> so that's okay. It's a little crooked on there, but it, it looked really cute. So I'm going to solve that problem uh, because I wasn't going to toss it even though it didn't look perfect. I just trimmed down and I'm gonna add it to another layer. Um, so I realized that I probably could have done the top layer with the shaker, but it all worked out okay. And is still very, very cute. So I'm gonna come back with my liquid glue and add that on top. And I've got a cute little shaker with that. I'm gonna finish it off with a fish uh, that I colored with yellow and orange markers from Spectrum Noir Tribalands. And then I love this big banner um, that will be in the Happy Birthday was included in that set as well. So I'm going to glue this onto that light blue um, card base and uh, that's going to be it for that pretty much. I'm going to add a couple of more little of the little sequins, which you can see I've got a nice shake going on there. <laughs> So I averted it having to go into the trash can by just having to think think out the problem. Sometimes that happens in crafting, but it did work, and um, I was I was pleased with the end result on the shaker part. I hoped that I could make a shaker out of it. I'm going to come back here with my liquid glue and my sticky tool and add a few more of those cute flat sequins from Honeybee. And that's it. I thought that ended up being cute. I was so happy. I had a lot of fun doing the Distress Inks, too. That um, I always enjoy playing with uh, those products. So I hope you will subscribe and like and share. And I'll be back soon with some more videos. But thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your support and your comments um, more than you know. I enjoy sharing uh, this stuff with you. Have a great day.